football is a game where you always have to improve, you know. It always can be better, you know. So don't be don't be satisfied, you know, with the with the things you you have done. Just try to to look into the future and always try to be better. That's that's my motivation. I played in Germany three and a half years and I thought, you know, after three and a half years that was it, you know, I needed like a uh, different challenge, you know, which was uh, which was after Manchester City, where I was uh, four and a half years, won uh, won some trophies. Uh, after so many years for for Manchester City, we won the titles and everything. And uh, obviously, even there, after four and a half years, uh, at the end, I didn't play like I wanted. So it was uh, it was my choice to move. And now I'm in Italy already three years and. Uh, I feel good. And how are you finding life in Italy? Oh, the life is life is great. Uh, I think uh, for me, for my family, it's a beautiful city, beautiful country to be because uh, the weather is always nice. The food is really good. Uh, the Rome, the city, uh, we don't have to talk about it, uh, you know. And and it's also closer to Bosnia, to my whole nice hometown Sarajevo. So. For the family to come, me to go there, uh, it's uh, much easier than uh, when I was in UK. And in regards to the playing style as well, I mean, how does it compare playing in England and playing in Italy? It's different, you know. Uh, like is everyone, like everyone is saying, you know, England is uh, is very hard and difficult league. You know, you have to be always 100% uh, ready physically because uh, it's a very quick and strong league uh, and for example uh, in Italy is more more about tactic or well, let's say everything about tactic you know the teams uh, barely get open at the back you know it's uh, it's only only about result now speaking about your time in England obviously you were pivotal in that moment when uh, Man City won their first title in 44 years where does that rank in terms of your career Top three, let's say. <laughs> what are the other two then? What are the other two? Moments? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, there's uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of great moments. Uh, one of them was also, you know, my first game for the national team and the first goal, which I scored against Turkey uh, when we played uh, in Bosnia 2007. So that's the the other one. Uh, uh, top of them then we won the league in Germany as well which was the first uh, first title for Wolfsburg history so there have been few few nice moments but definitely the the game against QPR is something that you you don't see every day how did you feel in that moment can you remember what it was like just relief you know after after Sergio scored the third goal it was just relief you know because uh, after all the season where we played very good, you know, uh, then we needed just one more win in a home game, which everyone expected to be easy. And at the end, it was uh, the most difficult game. And uh, you win it like this, it's just, you know, incredible feeling. I think we all remember <laughs> what happened yeah. at that moment. And, and we'll be remembered we for, exactly. for years, yeah. Well, it would seem that you like a comeback when it comes to your games. I mean, how did that moment against Barcelona like how, do, how does that rank for you in your career and how does it compare with Manchester City? Yeah, the, it's a little bit different. O obviously, it's, uh, it was a great moment for all of us because nobody expected it, not even the players. Uh, but the game was open very good when we scored at the beginning of the game and then at the end to score the third goal to knock out Barcelona is just a fantastic achievement for the club and for all of us, the players, you know. and. Uh, and uh, winning title with City is, is still winning something, you know. Uh, beating Barcelona was just passing to, to the semi-finals. Uh, I wish it was for the winning of the Champions League. Maybe, maybe next time. Maybe in future, yeah. OK, well, let's talk about your international career. Now, you're the most capped player. You're the highest scoring player for Bosnia. And you've led the country to their first uh, World Cup, which was in 2014. How do you feel when you put on that jersey, knowing that you are the captain and leading your side out? Yeah, I mean, the dream of all the kids, you know, uh, in Bosnia who are playing football is uh, to play for national uh, team one day. And it was for me the same. And I'm still, I'm still here playing for the national team. And um, until they uh, 
they want me until I I can help I will be I will be here because for me playing for national team is honor and I will be all I will always be be ready to give uh, everything for it. I want to talk about um, football in the Balkan region. Do you feel like that region is finally getting the respect it deserves on an international level? Yeah, I mean, definitely the Croatia showed us that uh, not just us, but the, everyone else that everything is possible. Even the small country like like Croatia to play uh, the final uh, of the World Cup is uh, is amazing achievement. And also for the other countries in the uh, region, uh, I think uh, if uh, it was uh, Yugoslavia still together, it would be probably one of the best teams in uh, in world. But uh, we are separate and uh, we still have all the countries have uh, good teams and i think every year every year every national team is is improving so hopefully this won't be the last uh, last big competition for bosnia and Herzegovina, and hopefully we can get to european championship as well 2020. and what do you make of the new uefa nations league tournament yeah i mean i like it i like it very much because uh, then they're not a, anymore just a friendly games and uh, y you compete for something and, and then you get chance to to go to european championship uh, by playing uh, Le nations league or finishing first in uh, in the group which is definitely improvement you do a lot of work with uh, unicef can you tell me more about the work that you do for them yeah, I mean, I'm a UNICEF ambassador from 2009 and uh, and I'm the first uh, ambassador for UNICEF in Bosnia and Herzegovina after the war and all the all the bad things that have happened in the last last 20, 25 years. Most of the of the things what I do is like with the, with the kids, you know, but uh, most of it we're doing when I have time because I'm not uh, I'm not always in Bosnia, so we we do some uh, community work and everything when I'm there for the national team or when I have time times off. We do seem to be in the time of a social shift. Um, do you feel that um, sportsmen and women um, have more of a responsibility politically and socially? Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not kind of in a political world, you know, and uh, especially especially knowing how is the situation in uh, in uh, in uh, Bosnia or let's say ex Yugoslavia you know even after 20 25 years i think the the there is still some things you know that uh, we haven't learned you know from uh, from uh, from the war so so i think especially in sport you can bring all the people together and show that uh, uh, the life goes on and it, it can go only if you're all together, you know, and respect each other.